This is a super cool problem because the end result is going to blow our mind. Look at this curve of y equals 1 over x. Now consider any point P on this curve. Also assume that this point has its x coordinate as A. So its y coordinate will be 1 over A, right? Now we will draw a tangent to this curve at this point P. Note that a tangent is a straight line that just touches a curve at one single point without cutting it, having the same slope as the curve at that point. This tangent line cuts the x-axis at this point and the y-axis at this point, forming a right triangle like this. Our goal is to find the area of this triangle. To do that, as a first step, we will use calculus, which will help us find the slope of the tangent and the points where it meets the axes. Do you know how we find the slope of this tangent? In calculus, this slope is found using derivatives. So, for our curve y equals 1 by x, we find its derivative with respect to x. Now, the derivative of 1 by x is minus 1 by x square. This means that at any point on the curve, the slope of the tangent will be minus 1 divided by the square of the x-coordinate of that point. Let's take a specific point on the curve, say the point a and 1 by a. The slope of the tangent at this point will be minus 1 over a squared. Perfect. We've got the slope. Now, once we know the slope and a point through which the line passes, we can write the equation of that line, which means our tangent line, right? Remember the basic formula for a line? It's y minus y1 equals m multiplied by x minus x1, where m is the slope and x1. y1 is the point on the line. So substituting m as minus 1 by a square, x1 as a, and y1 as 1 by a, we get the equation of the tangent as y minus 1 by a equals minus 1 by a square multiplied by x minus a. Expand this to get minus x over a square, and this will become plus 1 over a. Take this one over a here to get y as minus 1 over a square, x plus 1 over a plus 1 over a, or 2 over a. Noise! Now, from this equation, we can find the x-intercept, or this point by putting y equals 0. We get this. Take this here to get 1 over a square x equals 2 over a. Multiply a square both sides to get x-intercept equals 2a. Similarly, we can find the y-intercept, or this point, by putting x equals 0. We get this, so y-intercept equals 2 over a. Therefore, the triangle formed has base 2a and height 2 by a. Now, the area of a triangle is half multiplied by base multiplied by height which gives half multiplied by 2a multiplied by 2 by a. Hey, 2 and a gets cancelled out, and the area comes out to be 2. This is the most surprising part. The area of the triangle formed by the tangent and the coordinate axis is always constant and equal to 2. No matter where the tangent is drawn on the curve, y equals 1 by x. Isn't this amazing? So, goo!